has recommended that the Board of Education approve the contract proposal submitted by T-Mobile for the placement of wireless towers in the following locations. Prior Lake Elementary School, Flat Rock Elementary School, Rocket Elementary School, Jolly, Jolly Elementary School, Lakeside High School, Margaret Harris Center, Martin Luther King Junior High School, Meadowview Elementary School, Medlock Elementary School, Narvi J. Harris Elementary School, Princeton Elementary School, and Smoke Rise Elementary School. Thank you. Do I have a motion by Mr. Dr. Walker, seconded by Dr. Speaks. Discussion? Mr. McChesney. Uh, thank you, Mr. Woman. Uh, I would like to propose an amendment to this, please. Uh, I would like to remove the following schools uh, from this list, and they would be Meadowview, uh, Brockett, and Medlock. There, thank you, uh, Mr. McChesney. Is Mr. I mean, Dr. Speaks, did you? Are you seconding? Uh, all right. There's a second to that motion. All right. Uh, Substitute motion first. Uh, you want to discuss, Ms. Eleanor? Six months. 
constructed are no longer available to be used. All right, thank you. Just for my clarification, I'm going to thank Dr. Speaks. I'm glad you're bringing this point up because, um, from, again, I'm going to pose this question to general counsel. With the statement that uh, Mr. Dunahue just made about the six months, so once the signature protocol is affixed to the contract, it is a binding contract for the school district. Is that not correct? Okay. Thank you. Ms. Jester. Thank you. Um, I'm concerned about many things, and, and I, I thank uh, Mr. McChesney for his amendment, and just also some procedural questions. So we'll be voting on now, and discussion is really about the amendment, and then we'll vote on the amended motion. Is that correct? Yes. Amendment first, and then the amended motion. Okay, so so the amendment is to remove certain schools, and then vote. Okay. Um, while we're discussing this. Um, yes. I'm sorry, while we're discussing this, I was concerned. I wanted, I, I just don't like the timing of this because we got this on Friday and I had asked two times for financial information to be put on the website. And um, I think the citizens, the taxpayers needed to see that. So I was very um, disappointed that that hasn't been available, the financial piece until now. Also, the term is kind of long for the lease for me. And then I, um, tangentially with what Dr. Speak says, I favor an opt-in versus an opt-out sort of methodology for the communities because we have heard from several communities and I support their right to determine what happens in that community with regards to the cell towers, but there may be many that just we haven't heard from yet and, and I, so I'm very reticent um, to support uh, to support it in, in uh, unless we were to change the mechanism for opt-in versus opt-out. Thank you, Ms. Jester. Ms. Edler. Thank you. Um, I'm uh, happy to um, have this opportunity to um, speak on this matter. I had shared with you some time ago my concerns regarding uh, this this proposal so that I'm sure it's no concern, uh, no surprise uh, to staff. Um, with regards to the three schools that are suggested for uh, removal, um, the, the communities have cited uh, health reasons, um, property values, environmental, and, and health as it relates to children. Um, I represent District 7, but more to the point, I represent um, the entire county. And so um, I am not one to pick and choose among, um, I guess, the health of children from a particular uh, community. But I, um, I hope that I would speak for all. And um, so in, in as much as we would take out three schools, I would suggest taking out um, all 12. We will not have any more demonstrations. I'll ask you to leave if you do it again. So that would be that would be my point uh, to the board at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Edler. Doctor Speaks. Thank you. The reason I I think well I asked the question, but the reason that I asked it the way that I did is because it's my understanding, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, that there were two communities that really, really want this. Um, and so if those communities do want it, I don't want to stand in their way. And they, um, from my understanding, have been very vocal in terms of wanting it. So that's why I'm asking, is it, is it an all or not? If, if those two communities want it, but yet, we're either unsure um, about the rest, or we've heard from uh, three at least. I could say for me, there might be other board members who heard from other communities that they don't want it. Can we vote in such a way, or is that not possible? Dr. Speaks, I, if, if you don't mind, I'll take no, that question no. from Mr. Donahue. Um, I believe the, the, the venue for the board to um, 
be able to do your request would be to raise motions to remove the schools from the list. Um, in, in your hypothetical example, raise motions to remove the schools from the list and get down to the two communities that would desire it. Substitute motion 